Hey ASU alumni, thanks for submitting your questions. Hey Derek, uh, great question. I can't go into detail about specific recruits, but uh, certainly all the exposure and the media attention and our national ranking through most of the season has definitely helped uh, people's perception of Arizona State basketball in, in a very positive way. So we're, we're excited about this season, but uh, the future is looking pretty bright. Yeah, I just try and uh, communicate and convey and, and allow my players to see my passion for the game and um, and hopefully that, that rubs off on how they feel about basketball and I think that begins with, with how you practice and how you train and how you prepare and, um, and then from there we try and create a, a family environment and just get to know our players and spend time with them and they're around our families, uh, the coaching staff, so there's uh, a level of comfort there with, uh, with those guys feeling like they're a part of a family. Uh, Randy, thanks, that's a great question. Um, we, my wife and I you know, love to hike. Uh, it's something that we didn't do much of in New Jersey. They didn't really have uh, mountains like that to uh, take advantage of, of the outdoors. And, uh, you know, we've been to, to Pinnacle Peak and, and Tom's Thumb and, and, and Gateway Loop. Those are some of our favorite, you know, hiking spots. Don and Nancy, thanks for your question. We uh, just try and remind our guys that with the number three ranking that we were able to ascend to and then being nationally ranked through most of the season, there's a, a target on you uh, where teams you know, play harder, their coaches prepare them harder because it's uh, now we're becoming everyone's uh, big win on their schedule. So we have to remind the guys that, uh, that we have to take that into account when we're uh, playing our opponents. Thanks for the question, Mike. Everything that I've learned is that you base your style around your players and what they're talents and abilities are and I think with this year's team we're you know pretty guard oriented um, with our seniors and and Remy Martin so we try and take advantage of of our speed and our quickness off the dribble and um, and then we also complement that with uh, what Romello White and and Daquan Lake can do around the basket so we try and have the balance we're looking for but you know we want to play fast and you know we're one of the top 10 teams in the country in scoring and and I want our guys to, to play an exciting style that they, they could uh, really enjoy. So um, I see us playing that way uh, now and in the future. James, thanks for the question. It's, um, we try and recruit guys that love the game, that, that have uh, you know, unbridled passion for, for, the ba for basketball and getting better and uh, quality people that that hold themselves to a high standard, uh, you know, guys that, that have great character. Uh, because if you don't have those type of people, you're not gonna be able to win at the highest level. Uh, and, uh, but, but it all starts really with just enthusiasm for, for, for being good. And uh, I think my seniors ha embody that, uh, Trey, Shannon, and Cody. And a guy like Remy Martin just, uh, he breathes life into what we do every day, and it's great to have people like that in your program. No, it's, it's a part of, of my rituals, and, and as a former athlete, I have a, a lot of superstitions and things that I do on a game day, and, and having the Red Bull prior to the game, I really don't know if that changes me or does anything, but um, you know, it's something, a habit now that I've, uh, I've done over a number of years, not only here at Arizona State. Um, the greatest asset this year, I think, has, again, been our leadership, uh, particularly our seniors this year have uh, been very determined uh, to get to the postseason and, and change the narrative here at Arizona State. And, and those guys want to be remembered as winners and uh, 
and players that, again, have a chance to play in the postseason. And uh, so that's been kind of the change for me. And then uh, I think we're pretty much set with, with guys in the program moving forward that we feel great about, um, both incoming recruits, transfers sitting out, and, and young players that we think will continue to get better.